Dominic Warren is joining us. He is the lead singer of Queen, It's a Kind of Magic. It is going to be an international concert at the Marina Bay Sands on Thursday and Friday, the 10th and 11th of March, and also Saturday, the 12th of March as well. Dominic, welcome to the show. We are so glad to have a bona fide star with us today. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks for having me. No, it's a pleasure. And first, Dominic, I'm just curious, where are you calling in from? Are you in Singapore already? Uh, no, I'm, I'm in Australia at the moment. Ah, oh, good. So the time difference yeah, Gold, is in your favor. Gold Coast, Australia. Yeah, this time. Fantastic. <laughs> Dominic, what is it like to play an icon like Freddie Mercury? It's got to be amazing. Oh, I've been a massive fan of Freddie Mercury since I was about, I don't know, 13 or 14. Yeah. So it, at the moment, it's quite a, a dream come true. Um, yeah, I didn't think I'd be doing it, but look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't stop you now. Don't stop you now. Yeah. now. I mean, this is the thing, Dominic. Lots of people can sing. I've seen clips of you. You are an extraordinary singer. People, Thank fans <laughs> in Singapore are in for a treat at MBS. They really are. But at what point does a good singer become, I think I can sing like one of the greatest <laughs> rock legends in history. How do you make that transition? Because Freddie Mercury had a very powerful, distinct voice. Uh, the answer is by mistake. <laughs> 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 um, so basically, I, I have a background in classical music. So I studied, uh, I specialized in Baroque. So Bach, Monteverdi, Handel. 1600s to 1750 was the genre I was actually going to pursue a career in. But um, myself and Michael Dickens, the drummer in the, in the band now, we started our first band together at 13. And slowly we started drifting towards rock and roll and pop music. And now we've ended up where we are. <laughs> That's amazing. And you're from South Africa. Was he from South yes. Africa? Or did, did yeah, you we, both went to, we both went to boarding school together. Oh, right. So that's, oh, how, that's how we met. <laughs> yeah. Tell, tell us a little bit about the show that's coming up at Marina Bay Sands from the 10th to the 12th of, of March. Uh, what, what's it, what's it going to be like? Is it just going to be a rock concert, uh, basically? Or, or what yes. Is it? Um, so, so it is a concert. It's not a musical theater performance or anything. There's no acting. There's no storyline. Um, what we do is we try and recreate the 1986 Wembley show. Oh, and wow, wow. So basically we, we've got all the, all the outlandish costumes. We've got all the big lighting. We've got an LED wall that enhances everything. Uh, Rusty, the guitarist that plays Brian May, is actually using a Brian May replica um, guitar. So we use all the authentic things as far as possible on stage. Uh, it's a spectacle. <laughs> and, and so I'm guessing, you know, you, you must study the movements of Freddie Mercury, not only the voice, which is fantastic, but he's, he was very theatrical. He was very flamboyant. It must be a treat to, to recreate that on stage. Yes. Uh, the, the one thing I always say about that, though, is that there's always there's, there's only ever going to be one Freddie Mercury. Um, so people people must just yeah understand that what we do is we enhance his mannerisms and we mm. we try and bring the you know, we, we give him all of his energy on stage and we deliver all of that trying to pay tribute in the best way possible to one of the greatest artists. Uh, so we just give all the energy we can basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would think. And then some, huh? Uh, we're talking with Dominic <laughs> Warren, uh, the lead singer of Queen. It's a kind of magic uh, going to be at Marina Bay Sands from the 10th to the 12th of March. Uh, tickets available on Cystic. Uh, when you, prepare for something like this first of all for for those of our listeners and watchers on facebook live who who haven't seen you before how long have you been how long have you been freddie mercury and and how did you how do you prepare for that because you know that there's going to be a lot of people just waiting to find every oh, yeah. good and every <laughs> fault uh, you know with with your performance so how long have you been doing it and how did you perfect what you are doing so I've been I've been doing the role of Freddie Mercury now for about five four years I think when it started I just stopped counting I just ran with it so it's in the, the roughly four good. years I think mm -hmm. um, and how I prepare is I mean before every show I do about an hour and a half's vocal warm up and wow. then um, I listen to some Freddie Mercury as well for about a half an hour before the show half an hour twenty minutes. And then about 10 minutes before we walk on stage, um, I just have silence um, in the room uh, just mm. to, you know, reset everything and then hit mm. the stage running. That's my I routine pretty much every day. 
Wow. And it's clearly worked because you've had an extraordinary, colourful career. I'm looking at your resume now. You've shared stages with Bishop Desmond Tutu, oh, Bono yeah. of U2, and Luciano Pavarotti. I mean, how did that came, come about, and what were those experiences mm -hmm. like? So when I when I was a kid, this all happened before I finished school, which I was very fortunate about. Oh. I was at the Dra I was at the Drakensberg Boys Choir, and uh, we we used to tour the world and stuff. Obviously, in a very classical setup, like I spoke about before. And um, Pavarotti was on his last world tour to South Africa, and uh, yeah, it was in Pretoria. They were at a stadium, and we shared the stage with him and sang as a chorus for his opera uh, numbers that he did. And it was it was surreal. I mean, I've never seen yeah, I've never seen such such quality in real life. You know, like right in front of me before. It was mm. it was incredible. And then Desmond Tutu, I had the uh, the privilege of performing for him at the St George's Cathedral in Cape Town, uh, where I'm from. And yeah, we it was uh, an award ceremony where uh, Bono was there at the same show. Joshua Bell, who I don't know if you know, but he's a Grammy award-winning violinist who I saw live. Mm. And um, Saul Kersner, the owner of Sun International at the time. Oh. Um, so it was, a, it was just a, an incredible, uh, incredible moment, right place, right time. Uh, yeah. Very lucky. <laughs> Talking about Dominic Warren, the lead singer of Queen, it's a kind of magic. And uh, Dominic Freddie was a complicated uh, guy in many ways, uh, you know, it came to his music, his sexuality, and and you know, all of that is a is a very uh, uh, colorful and diverse um, uh, part life that he lived. How do you how do you channel that complexity, or do you just focus more on the mechanics of getting the songs right and the body movement and things like that? You know, you talked about taking some time before each performance to get in your head in the right space and and all. Is it possible to really kind of take on all that he was? Because he was a lot. Well, I think for me, or, or the best thing to do is, you, you know, you, you can always uh, enhance what you can relate to, uh, mm. if I could put it that way. So I can relate to the stage performance and I can relate to the energy given on stage, you know, the feeding of the audience, the, all of that side. As far as his personal life goes, uh, I'm quite a polar opposite, to be honest. Um, mm. <laughs> I'm pretty, pretty introverted, and uh, yeah, I don't share the same uh, lifestyle choices as he does. Mm -hmm. So I, I guess I, I just say you, you, you focus on what you can relate to most of the time, and do that yeah. to the best of the ability. Because at the end of the day, it's about the show, um, and it's about uh, it's about enjoying the music that's performed and paying tribute to him in the best way possible. So that's how I do it. <laughs> well, let's talk about that music. One of the fascinating things about Queen is their eclectic range of songs. Mm -hmm. You've got operatic almost numbers like Bohemian Rhapsody. You've got foot stompers like We Will Rock You. You've got funky numbers like Under Pressure with that magnificent bass line. As a performer and as a band, which songs do you really go, yeah, we like this one. I mean, you, I know you probably can't say I've got favourites, but which are the ones that really get you and the band going? Oh, I'd say, I'd say, or to tell the truth, I know it's going to sound really lame, but all of them are, are incredible. <laughs> no, it does I mean, sound lame, Dominic. It, no, does it, sounds, sound lame. it sounds lame. Uh, I'll tell you my personal favourites, though. Like, I mean, a favourite song of mine uh, that I really love performing is Somebody to Love. It's yeah. just one of my all-time favourite mm. songs. It's a good song. And... Um, also, there's a song called Tie Your Mother Down. I don't know if you know of it. It's a very rock and roll, you know, three-piece band with a singer, uh, just like four on the floor rock and roll song. And that's quite exciting to to, to perform on stage because that's just pure energy, you know. Uh, mm. it, just, it just creates, uh, yeah, you get goosebumps thinking about it now, actually. Well, I mean, Somebody to Love, um, George Michael famously considered that the best vocal performance of his career, which mm. he did at the Freddie Mercury tribute concert. Tribute, I mean, yeah. Dominic must be aware of that. If anyone listening is watching, go to YouTube and watch George Michael's Somebody to Love because yeah. it is spellbinding. It is a great song to sing, Dominic, isn't it? Somebody mm. to Love. So I, I know everybody loves the Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody was groundbreaking. You know, it was, <laughs> it was the first of its kind. And it has its place up there. But in terms of just pure melody writing and beautiful call and response with cho uh, choirs and just songwriting in general, I think Somebody's Love's a masterpiece. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, 
Stephen Chu on Facebook Live, one of our uh, one of our fans is is asking: Is there a song that's not on the set list that you're going to perform that you wish was on the list? Ooh, at the moment, no. Oh, actually, good old fashioned Lover Boy. That's a that's quite a mm-hmm. nice song. We 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 don't perform that one at the moment, mm-hmm. but. Um, it is, it is a song that I really do enjoy. Other than that, um, we've got pretty much all the greatest hits going. And mm. a personal favorite of mine in the show is Love, Love of My Life. Um, Great song. A very, mm. yeah, it, it brings back everything because we've had all of this rock and roll now. And we've had all of this intense music. This is just stripped back to acoustic guitar and vocals. And that's really satisfying and refreshing. Do you notice that different audiences have different favorites? Say if you're performing in Australia or Singapore or Southeast Asia, what kind of reactions do you see? How do they differ? Um, funny enough, like we, we just did an extensive tour last year of, of New Zealand. And New Zealand's a, re- a well, relatively small country. And um, it was amazing to see that just two hours away, people would be enjoying complete, the complete opposite style of music. Um, I guess it's just the, the audience in the room at the time. But you get some people that just enjoy the jumping along and clapping along and singing along. And you mm. get some people that just enjoy sitting down and watching. And wow. both, mm. both are appreciated. Um, but, yes, the more you sing, the better it all feels. <laughs> Well, yeah. well, speaking of the more you sing, yes, we have been Ooh. running a poll all day. You know this is coming. <laughs> We've been oh, running a yeah. poll all day, and the overwhelming winner was uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. To okay. possibly hear you do a couple of lines. But if you want to do one of your own songs, that's completely up to you. We'll leave it to you. But the winner was Bohemian Rhapsody. We did tease them that you might tease them with a couple of lines. So over to you, Dominic. What would you like to do? Okay, which part of Bohemian Rhapsody would you like? Let's, your, let's give it your a choice. Your oh, choice. That's, that's or or you can do one show. of the other songs that you like as well. I mean, you mentioned no, a couple well, of different ones. Uh, uh, democracy wins. <laughs> so, <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> most of the time. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, Mama, ooh, didn't mean to make you cry. If I'm not back again this time tomorrow, carry on, carry on, as if nothing really matters. Wow. Oh, there you go. I thought goosebumps. I'm literally holding up. First thing, <laughs> first thing on a Saturday morning. Didn't even have time to warm up. So thank you for that. Brilliant. <laughs> um, we are really looking forward to uh, to seeing the show. We wish you the best of luck. The show is a queen. It's a kind of magic international concert. Marina Bay Sands the, from Thursday to Saturday, the 10th to the 12th of March. Coming right up. Get your tickets on Cystic. Dominic, we wish you all the luck. Uh, not that you need it. Obviously, you've got the talent that uh, surpasses that. But uh, You always uh, need luck. <laughs> yeah, 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 and a little bit of magic, right? Yeah. Uh, but thanks for being with us on the show today and, and for uh, giving us a, an insight into who you are and, and the music that you're doing. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me, guys. Have a good one Absolute further. pleasure. Okay. Thanks, thanks so much. Man. <laughs> Cheers. Uh,